I met her at the plant. Yeah. Yeah. tell your parents to do the same if they're in the picture because if they wander back there and stay back there, then, and I'll remind them that too. Yeah, uh, the pictures are finished. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi everybody, if I could have your attention. I will get you out quickly and quietly. I never chew my cabbage twice, so you need to listen up to what your part or your role in all of this is so that we can go through it just once. It's not necessary for everyone to know what everyone else is doing. That's what my job is, okay? And as I need you to come up for various things, and for the most part, I will call you up by name. However, we need to get you into church. So, getting you into church, if we could please, I would like the first girl, which is Pam. Pam, front and center here. And Robert. Pam and Robert. Robert here. <laughs> Pam and Robert. Right here, okay? Yep, I'll let him come right here. Followed by Brian and David. Brian and David. Followed Nicole. by and my brother, but he's not here. Nicole, so no, no, behind her. Behind her. Behind Sorry, her. I him. Behind her. Okay, <laughs> Nicole, with my brother. Brianna. You're with her brother nice who's not here. He's not here. Followed by? Uh, Jen and Joe. Jen and Joe. <laughs> Followed by? Caitlin and Todd. How are you? Caitlin and Todd. <laughs> Followed by? Are we in and then Josette and Matt. Josette is in here, right? No, she's she not here. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Followed by. And then my maid of honor, Aaron. Aaron. And best man is. Ryan. Where is he? Right here. Hi, Ryan. And Slade is on the end. How are you? Okay. And Slade is on the end. Okay. I need all of you to move out of the first three rows here. Bride's mom. Bride's mom, where are you? Go on the third bench. Third bench. Third bench. It's too many people. You're in the third bench on this side. Who's with you? Okay, well, we're going to get you. Pick bachelor number one, bachelor number two. Let's just think about it for a minute. Oh, and who's going to bring you down? Okay. If you would, everyone would turn around and go to the back of the church with the bride's dad groom and best man stay with me. Boys, I didn't tell you to move. I said, ladies, <laughs> ladies, ladies, thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know, but that's how life is. You know, it's not sweet sour. Thank you, Mayor, and on your way. The two of you tomorrow, when you come to church, church will be open by one o'clock. When you come to church, come back in the sacristy and wait with me there. For now, come over here and stand on the rock over here. You don't have to know anything these guys are doing. Tomorrow, I need you to make sure you have a room and both rings. Okay? All right? That's easy. I'm a big stickler to start on time. So if you want to stand my good side, you'll be here early. The church is open at 1 o'clock. It isn't going to be any hotter or any cooler. Please remember that the party begins after the church ceremony, so no jello shots, no, no, no vodka tonics, nothing, nothing, nothing. 
Okay, until after this, okay? If it's hot, it's going to be even hot. Okay, so when you arrive, I would ask one, two, three, four, five, six of you to bring people into church, to escort them down. There is a, an elevator, a lift over here, uh, and I understand there is someone coming in a wheelchair. Someone should station themselves by the side door here, even two of you, because the parking lot is there, so a lot of people will come in that way, ship them down the side aisle, and let the ushers bring them down the center. We're leaving one, two, three, four, like five rows. Find the grandparents for me. Grandma in the wheelchair can go up by the organist over there. Other grandmas, grandparents, aunts, uncles, fill in the benches, check tonight with the groom and the bride if there's anybody else that they want special immediately behind their parents, okay, other than grandparents, okay? Then from the time you get here, you're seating people, okay? You can put them bride side, groom side, you can mix them up, check again with the bride and groom what their pleasure is on that. You do that from the time people start arriving until 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, you're going to hear a, a bell, two-minute bell peal. When the bell finishes peeling, please go to the back of the church, ask anybody who's still standing around catching the smoke, talking outside, would you please go in and be seated? We're about ready to begin. If everything works out correctly, as soon as the, uh, the bell stop ringing, okay, you should come down the aisle, okay, groom's dad, okay, down the aisle, followed by groom's mom, down the aisle with your escort, if somebody with one of these little people, bring it down the aisle, okay, and, uh, or you can have, you can have, okay, bring it down the aisle, and then you, you come down the aisle, okay, with your escort. Uh, like you don't have to have the aisle all clear, but like, you know, like, like the, when they're near the front and the second person leaves and then you leave and so stagger them. Are you going to kind of be back there watching? Thank you. Your name is? Paula. Hi, Paula. Good. That's basically all you're going to do. When you're going to come down, the girls will come down. You'll pick your partner up, extend your arm, walk up to the first bench, one, two, three. Just pause, don't kneel, don't bow, don't do anything silly. Just let the ladies go in on one side, you go in on the other side, just go down one, two, three. Then four, you're going in the second bench. So you're stopping by the second bench, let the lady in. You're going in and go down one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? That's the man your maid of honor is going to be coming down all the way here. Let her give him a kiss and a hug. Step in, shake hands with him. Take your bride from her dad, bring them up. Okay? Yep. No, stand. Stand. Stay standing. Everybody stay standing. Okay. Do you need a candle on it? You're going to light the candle that's to the fire. Right? Mom, as you're going to come down, Sandy, as you're going to come down, you're going to come here with your escort, light the candle that's here, and then go over there. Before they sit down. Before they sit down. Right at the very beginning. Okay. I would suggest that not later than 5-2, you know, you come out of the bus and come back here. Okay? And if you want to go over there by that door with Dad, you're going to trail off that way. Okay, so you're going to do that now. Okay? There is no place to hide. There's just bathrooms there. And people will go in them. And it's just a tiny little, little thing. And if you want to go in front of her, okay? So you're only coming in at five minutes too. Yeah. You want to go there with the girls, please? No? Okay. Don't get it this. They're scared here. A lot of women for one little boy. Okay. What I would ask you to do then is like. Yeah, where is he? I thought I asked him to come back. He wasn't listening. Okay. What's going to happen is I'm going to ring the church bells at two o'clock. He's afraid. Don't push him. Yeah. He'll be all right. One scrap of He's really good. He'll be okay. All right, so if you hear the church bells ringing, you're late. Okay? The church bells will ring at exactly 2 o'clock. And what will happen at exactly at 2 o'clock is they're going to take Grandma down the aisle in her wheelchair. Okay? And then we have the groom's father and his partner go down, sit in their bench. The groom's mother will go down. Light her candle, sit in her bench, and your mother's bench will follow and go down. She has a 
Next girl, you're coming down. Okay. She got the guys lined up. He doesn't, does he? He's, are they back there? Okay. Okay. So he's they're picking them up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I figured. So you, you'll be able to get all that. Yeah, from down there. Yeah. Get, get pick up right. Yeah, right. Hmm? You're doing fine. You're doing fine. It's too hard to run. 